Hello friends, this video on linear programming part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. Let's take one more example. The manufacturer produced nuts and bolts. So this guy is produced nuts and bolts. It takes one hour work on machine A and three hour works on machine B to produce a package of nut. So I have machine A and machine B. Correct. It says it takes one hour of work from machine A and three hour of work from machine B to produce a package of nuts. For nuts you need one hour machine A and this are machine B. Three hour of machine A and one hour of machine B to produce one packet of wood. Correct. This guy earns a profit of 17.5 per package on nuts and 7.5 per packet of nuts. So I write profit here. On nuts the profit is 17.5 and on bolt the profit is 7 rupees per pack. The question is how many package of each should be produced so that the profit is maximum. And at the max this machine runs for 12 hours. So this at the max runs for 12 hours, 12 hours, total hours. So what I can do is, let me assume that this guy produced X nuts and Y bolts. So in this case, what is the profit? Profit will be 17.5 X plus 7 Y. And this has to be max. What are the other constraint I got? First is X has to be greater than or equal to zero. Y has to be greater than equal because the number of nuts he produced has to be greater than or equal to zero or greater than bolts also greater than or equal to zero. He can't produce a negative nuts and negative bolts. Second is the number of nuts he get is I mean the number of machine A for machine A the total consumption will be X plus 3Y correct because XR is used in preparing nuts and 3 into y and preparing bolts. So machine a x plus 3y has to be less than or equal to 12 because the maximum current is 12. Similarly, machine b it will be 3x plus y total time it will take 3x plus y has to be less than 12. So these are my four constraints and I do maximize this. How to do this? Let's do this. So again, let me write my equations here. My equation was x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0, x plus 3y is greater than, sorry, less than or equal to 12, 3x plus y is less than or equal to 12, and then I have uh, to maximize this guy, that is 17.5x plus 7y. So this guy has to be maximum. Correct. So let us draw this. X plus 3y is equal to 12. I have to draw this equation. X plus 3y is equal to 12. Put x is equal to 0. You get y is equal to 4. You bet y is equal to 0. You get x is equal to 12. So x is equal to 0. 12 you get. So let me assume this guy is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So x is equal to 12. Y is equal to 0 is 1 point. Then I have x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2, 4 is 1. Correct? So let me join this. This point is up. So this is nothing but x plus 3y is equal to 12. Let me take the other equation. 3x plus y is equal to 12. So here I will put y is equal to 0, I will get x is equal to 4. I will put x is equal to 0. I will get y is equal to 12. So here we have 2, 4, 6, 
8, 10, 12, this point and this point, right? You join these two points. This point is up. So this guy is 3x plus y is equal to 12. Now it is x plus y is less than 12. So if you put 0, 0, right? 0, 0 satisfies. So I'm looking for this area. Similarly, 3x plus y is less than 12. If I put 0, 0. 0 is 0 less than 12. Yes, this satisfies this area. Correct. And I have x is, y is greater than 0 and x is greater than 0. You find the common area. This is my common area. What are the points here? I define this common point. That is the merge of 3x plus y is equal to 12 and x plus 3y is equal to 12. Correct? So to find this, let me multiply this thing by 3. This becomes 3x plus 9y is equal to 36. Subtract this, 9y minus y is 8y is equal to 36 minus 12 that is 24. You get y is equal to 3 right and you get x is equal to uh, 12 minus y that is 3 by 3 that is 9 by 3 that is 3 right so my points are if you see my common points are 0 comma 0 is one point this guy this point 4 comma 0 is one point this point 3 comma 3 is one point and 0 comma 4 this point so I have four points right 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 0, 1. So for these points, let's find z. That is 17.5 x plus 7 y. In this case, we get 0. Second case, you get 17.5 into 4 is 70. Here, you'll get 73.5. And here, you'll get 28. You want to maximize the profit. So we'll go for this. So the maximum profit is 17.73.5 rupees and this happens when you prepare three nuts and three bolts packet and that is best. Very simple, not a difficult task. You have this problem, you combine into mathematical models, mathematical equations, solve it, get the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.